got a nice toasty one today. Um, but had a nice practice yesterday. I uh, was excited with it. You know, this is kind of a hump day, two days ago. Uh, it'll be our Tuesday, Wednesday uh, kind of game week schedule. So uh, we got we to get it out of pull it out of we have to today to get it done. Uh, I want to address one other thing yesterday. I don't know if it was Jerry who talked about the alliance. Okay? And I didn't know much about it. I've heard about it, rumors and all that. But yesterday, as I walked off the field, we had a, uh, an email um, from uh, Heather Like and got all the head coaches together, really just to inform us on what it is. It's the first time we really ever talked about it as a staff. So, um, you know, when you get you know informed on really what it is, it's a it's kind of a team thing. It's, you know, it's like we focus here. It's it's a, it, you know a few conferences getting together. You know, 41 schools total getting together and, and just kind of you know like mindedness uh, of, of hey, this is who we are. This is this, this is our values. And I think it's a, it's a great thing. And it's really sticking together and not falling apart. We know as much, you know, it's going on in intercollegiate athletics uh, across the country that, you know, it, it can't be a cutthroat thing. We have to stick together to, you know, control the integrity of the game. So, uh, again, I'm not sure who asked that question yesterday, but uh, obviously it's a good thing. So questions, football related more than anything, because that's why we're here. How's that competition between Howland and Battle? It's, it's ongoing. I mean, I think we've got two really good players there um, that may not shake out until game day. You know, we're going to find out. Uh, you, know, you guys may go, okay, I like this guy better. And we may say the same thing, or we may disagree with you, but uh, I think it's really two good football players. Uh, it's a good problem to have. If it was already solved, that means we have one guy that can play in that position. The good thing is it's still ongoing, and you know, I think we can win both of them back there. If you haven't rotated a ton in the secondary in the past, is that something you'd be willing to do if you just feel like we, you really like both of those guys? No, no doubt about it. You know, Brandon Hill, you know, in, in the boundary, and you know, uh, Cal, Cal Anders doing a nice job. PJ O'Brien's again another guy that just keeps getting better every day. Um, I think anytime you can rotate, I mean, it's Phil Campbell, it's 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 Cam Bright, it's John Patricia. There's a rotation there. There's um, you know inside Servassier, you know, with Wendell. And, I mean, there's just some combinations that we put on the field now that gives us, you know, these tempo offenses we face. I mean, you got to give these guys breaks. And again, you know, I mentioned it yesterday, the BC game still still irritates me to this day because, you know, you, you blame it on yourself because we didn't give, you know, your kids a chance. They can't run every rep, okay? Uh, they just can't do it. And, you know, the more, you know, the more depth you have as a football team, the better off you are. And I think we've got as much depth as we've ever had here, and that helps. At the beginning of camp, you weren't too crazy about the nine batted practice limit. After you've gone through it, now you're in the back end of it. How do you feel your team is ready to go with you know, it as far as the pads um, go? You know, we're going to carry. We're going to make the best of it. You know, do I like it? And then put limitations. I like to limit myself and be smart. Um, you like to kind of go about it a different way. So I really don't like it, but that's the rules and that's what we go by. And I'm happy with our kids. Our kids have maturely gone out there, taking care of business, and we understand if there's only nine, there's those nine opportunities. You can't lose one. You lose one, you go out there, and you, you know. And, and you don't play well for the day, you know, you've lost the day. You're not going to gain it back. Uh, so our kids have, you know, <coughs> mentally take care of it. We prep them as well. Like, this is how it's going to be this year. You know, seven spider days. Uh, I mean, basically seven days walking around, you know, running around just like you guys are. It's about all they had on with it. You know, put a helmet on, but you can't hit anybody with it. Uh, so they've done a nice job. It's, so you think they'll be ready for physicality? I guess you do. Cheer. Well, we're going to be physical. There's no doubt about it. Hey, you mentioned Sebastian. No, he's done both. I think he can play all three of them. He played in the boundary with Phil. I mean, so there's a combination there that, you know, they're going to have to deal with him wherever it is. Um, and like I said, there's, there's competition there. It's going to come down really game week, how guys, you know, practice and, and uh, get the game plan and how they fit into what that style of offense is defensively. That linebacker is more about finding where everybody fits in as opposed to who needs to fit in. No, I think it's you know more the who than the where. I mean, we know where the where is. We know where they're going to play. We know what they can play. Uh, we know the strengths. We know the weaknesses. It's going to be you know who's going to play when, and that's going to come down to game week when you set the depth chart. And, you know, we'll practice next Tuesday, and, you know, which is a game week Tuesday. We'll, we'll see how the guys you know you know work in the game plan. Who plays well? You, you come out. You you're not ready to practice. Then you know it's going to be tough for you to play on the game day. At least start on the game day. Yeah, we heard from uh, Trey Tipton yesterday outside of his development on the football field. What have you seen from him as far as just kind of like the man that he's become in his time since joining you know, his program? Yeah, Trey's, just, you know, Trey's a incredible success, you know. And you know, I told you about you know his success last Saturday or Sunday in the scrimmage. But the successes he have to, 
has off the field. You can't measure. I mean, the, the, the measuring stick is not big enough to measure what that guy's overcome, the first thing, all the details there. Uh, and, you know, uh, it's just, it's amazing what he's gone through, the things he's survived when, you know, a lot of kids would have just, you know, hung, hung their cleats up and said, I'm done uh, with not only his injuries, but the off the field stuff. So uh, coming all the way down to his, you know, his, his, his mother, Kim, I mean, it's just, that guy's been through a lot. And, uh, it's, it's, and it, again, as a coach, and we, you know, we all want to win football games, but there's a lot of things in real life situations out there that you, Feel like at times you you, know, you help save kids' lives. In, in the past, uh, freshmen kind of hit this wall, like in the third week of camp. Have you seen that, and have some guys kind of pushed through it? Yeah. You know, you know, I think we got a ton installed offensively and defensively. There's things we, you know we're doing right now that we weren't capable of doing offensively and defensively. Um, you know, when I look at some of the young guys like Rodney Hill has not hit a wall. You know, PJ O'Brien has not hit a wall. Um, you know, Noah Bigelow has not hit a wall. Really crumply had hit a wall. They've kind of maintained and um, you know offensively. Gavin Bartholomew has not hit a wall. Uh, I know, but I missed somebody. But you know, I would say I have not seen a guy that stood out to me early that's hit the wall. And that's a tribute to our football coaches of staying on them. You know, the kids asking for extra help, getting in there and getting that extra help before they fall too far behind. Thank you.